Yeah, so I'm going to talk about this game called Shogi. It's uh, essentially Japanese chess. Um, so you have some different pieces, and then you have some new mechanics on top of chess. Uh, the reason I say on top of chess. Um, but essentially, the goal is to checkmate the king. So you try to restrict, or you try to mitigate how many places the king can move. And then also put in an attack uh, where your attack isn't penetrated by the opponent, right? That's essentially a checkmate. Um, so I'm going to open this. If you go into the Google Play App Store and look up Shogi, uh, this one's called Shogi Free Japanese Chess. It has an English theme, so I'll show that real fast. Yeah, I haven't learned the actual Japanese characters and all that to actually play official Shogi. Um, but it's it's the same game, just with a different theme. So if you go into configuration, I'm pretty sure it's in there. Um, yeah, I just put language, and then they have the American flag. Oh, there's the uh, appearance. So I just put, the instead of the Shogi traditional characters, I put in the English characters, right? So that's the game settings, essentially. Now let's go into the rules real fast. So what you'll find, even if you know how to play chess, the mechanics are a little different. Um, so you have two new mechanics, uh, and then you also have two new pieces, too. Um, so the mechanics that I'm talking about are upgrade, like you can uh, promote pieces. So you're playing a 9x9 nine nine board. Um, so once you're in the opponent's three uh, rows, the top three rows of your opponent's space, um, you then have the ability to promote your pieces. Um, pawns and lances both have to be upgraded, like you don't have a choice. Um, if you drop them, if you drop like a lance or a pawn, it's a little different because it doesn't promote till it moves, right? Um, but those two will get promoted if you move them there. Um, so this is a pawn. This is its movement. The difference from chess is that they don't attack diagonally. They attack straight, um, which makes the mechanic a little different. And then you have lances, which just go straight. So they're essentially a rook that only goes straight. It doesn't even go back. And then you have the knight, and it goes up two over right or left. You can see that it doesn't go backwards. And it also doesn't go up one and then over two like the knight in chess. So then you have the Silver General, uh, which goes in the top one, and then also the top two diagonals, uh, lower diagonals, but it doesn't go left, right, or down. Then you have the Golden General, um, which goes up, left, right, like all the orthogonals, and then top diagonal, right diagonal, right. Then you also have the Bishop, which goes diagonally. Then you have the rook, uh, which is a standard rook, and then you have a king, right? So these are all the upgraded pieces. Uh, once you go in those top three rows, they pretty much all get upgraded to golden generals. Golden general is a golden general, so what's the point of upgrading it? Um, but the bishop also can move like a king and also go diagonal. But there's no concept of a queen, so you don't have anything that can go... The diagonals and the orthogonals on top of that. You have like king rook hybrids and then you have bishop rook hybrids when they're upgraded. Um, so let's go over the basic rules. Pointing a hand, they're just talking about how you you move one thing or you drop it. And I'll talk about the drop mechanic later. Um, but you just move a piece and then the other person goes. That's just like chess. And you can also take pieces. This should make sense if you ever played chess. But if you have the ability to move somewhere where an opponent's piece is, then you can take that piece. Also, so if, you're, if you're not used to chess, um, you can't do that. If your own piece is in the way, you can't move your rook across it or attack your own piece. Uh, you have to... You can only do that for opponent pieces. The knight is the only thing that can go over pieces in a sense. Like, since it goes up to and over to the right, even if, even if like, say, 
there's pieces that congest that route, it doesn't matter because it, as long as that last space that it can go to is not occupied, you can go there. Uh, so this is dropping. So essentially what this means is once you take a piece, it goes into a bank in the bottom. And that bank, you can actually place anywhere on the board with some restrictions, right? So pawns, they can go only in columns where a pawn has disappeared. So if you've lost a pawn or if a pawn's been promoted, uh, then you can use that column. Uh, dropping with every other piece, you can uh, you can drop it anywhere on the board. Uh, but the restriction is um, you can't drop it to a place where it's in like where it can't be moved. So if you drop a lance in the top row or whatever, you can't do that. Or say a knight in the top two rows, you don't you don't have that option. Um, but all the other ones can go backwards, right? So you don't really have a problem with that. And then I'm guessing like the pawn can't go on the top row either, right? Because <laughs> it only goes straight. Uh, so this is talking about a king. Um, essentially, they're checking the king. If you've ever played chess, this would make sense. Uh, but check checking the king pretty much just means it's something has just placed the king to be under attack. So you can actually move your piece to actually attack the king. Um, so then you have the option to move your king, destroy the opposition force that is putting your king in check, um, or you can use another piece to block its path, unless it's a knight, right? Because knight, uh, no level of congestion is going to matter to a knight that's attacking a king. Um, so this is a stuff, um, essentially what it's showing is, uh, checkmates, right? So the king can't go anywhere. Uh, so in the case of the, the left one, uh, that rook has, right, the application or the movements of a king. Um, so it can go back diagonal so that, that goal in general is now guarded, so... When that, that golden general comes up to the left, it has the top three, so the and it also has left. So the king can't go to its left, right, because of that golden general, its own golden general, congested its movements. And then the golden general has its left, so the king can't go forward from uh, its viewpoint and it can't go diagonal and kill the golden general that you just placed because the rook will take it out. And then it also can't go back diagonally because the rook will also take it out. In case of the middle one, uh, the golden general can go left and upward diagonal, so that restricts those two. And then attacking the golden general is just going to result in the pawn taking the king anyways. So there's no real point. Uh, you're in checkmate at that point. And then with the last one, uh, even though that golden general can go... In those two spots, since the knight can jump over anything, it doesn't matter if the golden general goes up because the knight will just still kill the king anyways. And then in the case of the king going to the two other spaces that I can actually move to, this, the silver general will take it out. Uh, so this is what I was talking before as far as dropping pawns. You can't drop a pawn in an existing column where a pawn is already occupying it unless it's upgraded. So like that middle one, you can see that's upgraded, so you can drop it there. Um, stuffing down, you can't checkmate by dropping a pawn. You can move the pawn up, but you can't drop the pawn put in a checkmate. You can do it with other pieces. I think this is because there's nine pawns, and chances of you getting pawns really high, so they just don't want you to be able to go, bam, checkmate really fast. Right. Uh, you can't leave your king neglected, so if it's in check, you have to move it, kill the opposing force, or block the piece if it's not a knight, right? Uh, you can't move to spots that the piece can't move to, which the, the software version is not going to let you do that anyways. 
I thought it was kind of silly that they threw that in there. Um, you can't move two times. It's a software version. It's not going to let you do that either. Uh, so you don't really have to worry about that in the software version. Um, and then also, like, you can't move. Like, if you look at the top, I talked about this a little earlier, but if you drop a lance to that top row, it can't move anywhere, right? So you can't actually, that's not an official move. Uh, you'd be like, well, you may want to cause congestion that way, right? You might want to just drop a lance somewhere to cause king congestion. But it's not going to allow you to do that. Um, that's just one of the rules of the game. And then you might move a... And then it says you can't also can't move it. If you move it to the end, you can promote it to a golden general. Or the movement of a golden general. Technically they have names, but I just call it upgrade to a golden general. Um, the last one, they actually do upgrade, and they say it's fine. So, we went over all the rules. Let's play a short beginner game. I'll just play beginner. Um, so, let's move. You can see it's 9 by 9 Here's the pawn. Might take a little while. As you can see, I promoted that piece. Uh, this is a beginner uh, AI, so what they would have normally done is they would have taken that silver general and then attacked the bishop. I'm actually surprised that the beginner AI sucks that much that they chose not to do that. Um, so now with this piece, right, so it's, it, it can move like a king and then it can also move like, like a bishop. Um, so I'm going to look more at the king movement. Uh, capability with it um, so I can attack the knight the lance I could attack the silver general but then they're just gonna take it out anyways but the AI might suck so much that it's not gonna do that um, I'm gonna choose to um, take out the knight um, you can see the silver general move back I'll just kill it too I'll just kill all these pieces Alright, so if I look at the lance, you can see it can't go to that, I can't drop it in that last row, which I kind of talked about earlier. The knight, I can't move it in the top two rows because it's immovable at that point, and when you drop it, it doesn't automatically get upgraded, right? Um, silver general, I can move anywhere I want, um, and then the bishop, I can drop it, so if I wanted to put the King and checkmate, or check right now, I could. Um, it's just going to move up diagonally, or it's going to move a golden general in the way. Um, so it's not really that helpful. Uh, I'm going to do it anyways, just to show dropping. So I just put the king in check. They moved it there. Um, I don't think that was the best move they could do, but it's a beginner AI, so what do you expect? All right, so I'm going to move the pawn upward. Then I'm going to just see what they... Oh, they're not even going to attack it. Yeah, this AI really sucks. Um, yeah, the golden general has all those spots, so the only way I'm going to kill is if I far range it. Yeah. All right. So I could upgrade there, but then, oh yeah, I can't go backwards diagonal. So I'm just going to put this here. I'm going to um, take that out and then upgrade it. also have the option of the rook. So I'm going to upgrade it right here. I'm going to put it here. Then I have the option to go right there. Oh, that was actually a really bad move. Uh, I just didn't realize uh, that the golden girl right there could attack. Oh, my bad. All right. So let's let's go here. Okay, that was kind of a. Um, let's make sure that the rook can attack it. They put a bush up right there, which is retarded. That's what uh, beginner AI. All right. Oh, 
Oh, they got a rook right there, huh? Freaking rooks, man. That golden general kind of sucks, too. Um, I could put a lance there, but let's let's do that and see what happens. Yeah, I'm not thinking that much. I'm just trying to win as fast as I can. Which is kind of counterintuitive, but whatever. Um, and let's put this here. Alright. Oh, I just got the diagonal. Well, if I put that there, then they have the option for there. Let's do that. Oh, no, wrong piece. I went to move the bishop there. Ah, shit. Alright. That rook is kind of worrisome for me, but whatever. Do I have a silver general? Yep. Alright. Let's place it there. Alright. So, I pretty much just need to put it in check at this point, right? The silver general will block that. Um, so I'll just go here and see if it's a checkmate. There you go. Checkmate. So that's kind of how to play uh, Shogi. Uh, take care. Bye.